The first physical advice is know how to stand, not with your fist. There's a passive stance. You, you have to be re, uh, ready, ready for combat without looking like you're ready. That's so important because most things don't go physical, but you have to be ready without letting someone know. That's what, what makes a weapon effective it is, is that it's out in the open without everyone knowing. So how to stand. Uh, number two, throw away the playbook. A lot of people play by the rules. If you show me a, a rule book, I'll abide by it. But in reality, you're fighting for your life. Uh, and number three, expend all ammo. So the little conversation I had with one of my lieutenants, I transferred divisions as a, sh a sheriff's deputy, and he had me meet him in a parking lot. We parked our cars next to each other like you see cops doing. And he said, listen, welcome to uh, Charlie Sector. I'm lieutenant so-and-so. Here's some of the expe expectations we have of you. If we find you uh, with your gun in your holster, sitting in your car, and you're dead, we're going to talk poorly about you. If we find you, your gun should be smoking, your baton should be out, broken in half, your car should be wrecked, there should be shell casings everywhere because that means someone got you at your best. All right? Never be complacent sitting in that car with your gun in your holster and, and get caught. So he said, you need to expend all ammo. That's what we expect of you in this division. And that was powerful. And I tell my students that and I actually, we actually have a scenario called expend all ammo where we physically take them to the edge. Then we ask, can you do it again? If anyone says no, we do it again. So always expend all ammo. Don't play by a rule book. And know how to stand because that's where it starts. Your stance is, that's where it starts. Establishing base, having your hands above your elbows. You've been dumped. You're fighting for your life. And by luck, you take that guy and he falls down in front of you. And he pulls you on top of him. You have to expend all ammo. That means this is your chance to get this over with fast. So for 30 seconds, you're going to pound this guy, whether it's with knife hands, elbows, hammer fist, cross foot. And at the end, I'm going to have you just look right down at his imaginary face. First, though, you're going to do 30 seconds of push-ups. Push-up position, please. Yes, sir. Ready? And go. 